so that's the issue with it. But if we can calculate where we're going to get the most damage, we can just make the hole big enough there to work with that. And uh, expanding the foam layer. Another idea is that um, if you finally do break through this thing, you'll have a small layer of foam. Um, we suggested aluminum foam. Um, so we'll just expand into that. We pull that break section into the bank and kind of plug the hole. Or we can actually just use a really malleable metal because, or any substance like that. Because it will just pull it through. I mean, it won't be the most secure spot on the ship. And it won't be super radiation proof or anything, but it will stop the ship from leaking out. It's like a band aid. And computer maintenance. Um, if glitches happen, you're screwed because we can't have someone on the ship to fix it. We can't send someone up there. So um, the only thing we can really do is make sure all the exceptions are handled so it doesn't film. Actually, he fixed me on that point. There is, there is a way to catch like all of them. So that it doesn't yeah, I, I haven't there for these stuff. I think. And uh, we also need a backup battery power system to make sure our main system is online in case in case one of those like pipes you know, break and then we need to replace it, the main power system would be down during the peak. And we'll need a backup power system to kick in during that time. Okay, here's the ugly. If anything of substantial mass hits the ship, we are not gonna come out of it okay. Because it's gonna wait for our attention. Um, they're traveling really fast. So it's like something hit us. Or maybe faster if it's going towards us. So we really need a way to detect this. Um, some crazy ideas include blowing it up with lasers. Quick for I mean, we can do that. Yeah, we're already we're already powering this huge. Yeah, yeah, so so <laughs> yeah so and um, he said shielding. I don't know how well I'm trying to avoid a physical collision because no matter how much shielding you have, it's not gonna come out good. Um, someone suggested like an electromagnetic shield around the ship to kind of push things out of the way. But that would have coils all around the ship and yeah, that's, that's not a good word. That's not I mean, it has to be on all the time. Or you need a dis detection system to make sure you know when to turn it on. Things can hit us from the side, even though it's really unlikely because we're moving really fast. And it needs to be perfectly timed in space to hit it from the side. So I really think all we need to worry about is from the front, collision from the front. So that's something that could happen. Or shielding failure, because if the layer is completely worn out, there's nothing that can really like put it in again. We don't have anything to go up there and replace it. So if any of those happen, um, we're not going to come out of it, all right? There might be a lot of problems with the ship, so. That's things we need to tackle. I think we'll laser idea at some point. If, or we can actually just use laser, like the force of the laser, just to push it away from every direction. I was thinking we'll also put the bumpers, like layers of bumpers at the front. Like, yeah. Should we have like a view I mean, I got the bumper idea, but the yeah. bumper idea will be like, Good enough to stop all the micrometeorites from destroying our ship, but like if it's like this small, yeah. yeah, it will work. But if you have like a rock the size of that door, yeah. I mean, it, it's gonna smash through that. It's we're traveling really fast, <laughs> so that's why like physical collisions should be avoided at all costs. We might even be able to like detect it from such a long range. We can move out of the way slightly. But that would we need like gimbals. <laughs> we need gimbals on. We, we need some kind of yeah. We need some kind of steering system, and that's also really complicated because like you steer the wind, steer back. <laughs> just a slight change in degree would mean that we're gonna miss altitude, right? Because four yeah, light years, slight change in degree, you're gonna go down or something like that, up or to the side. Um, for the discussion. Um, Things what we need is we really need to like figure out the size of the ship because right now it's kind of a guess. All I know is it's big enough that we need to separate in space, but that could be a 
cruise ship or Rhode Island? No, no, yeah, those those are gonna get honed down next round in the design round. So, um, depending on that, we're gonna have power systems that's big enough to handle that capacity. So, and uh, the specs I came up with, I'll um, come out to confirm it. And uh, shielding, I need to talk to shielding about the properties that we should have used. So that uh, the general metal idea will be working. Or if it's like some kind of special shielding, like a composite shielding. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, we might need to research different types of regenerative metal. I don't think that regenerative metal with the foam is going to work. Because if the foam is expanding, it's going to expand to the black hole where the regenerative metal is, and how it's going to like, regenerate. You know what I mean? I mean, if, if no, the foam, foam is in the very push. bottom there. It expands faster. So, yeah. If the foam expands faster, then the metal's never going to be able to no, regenerate. The foam is like the very back up. It's just going to regenerate metal. So you want to put it I mean, this inside is to fix or the outside, the foam. outside shell? Regenerate like that? the inside. Inside. Okay. The regenerative metals are on the outside to fix like tiny dings. Right. The foam is more like gashes. Are we worried about tiny dings? Yeah, but yeah. tiny dings are very hard. It's, they it's like being sandblasted for a hundred years. Yeah. So but worse because we're covering yeah. the deputy. Tiny dings are your main concern. Yeah. A big ding is less likely to happen, but it would I mean, still be nice if you have some type of preparation. It's a lot of erosion. The only like real layer you can con like you can battle this is with a really thick layer to absorb all that erosion because it's gonna yeah, have to bear away something. Yeah. And that's gonna be that shield you talked about. Like um, we concerned, like we talked about, we don't need a lot of protection from the sides mm -hmm. because front. we're not colliding into these things at that speed from the side. Only the front. So the bumper is well, our best bet. There's like this flux of angles. That yeah, we'll definitely have shielding on the side, the just speed. not as much as on the, on the front because the bumper is gonna deflect it or absorb most of it. Uh, that's it. Could you go to the helium slide really quick? Um, so 